The guillotine was an execution device used mainly during the French Revolution. France, France during a war, France during a revolution. It was invented by Joseph Ignace Guillotine. Well, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyways, it's, you know, it's French. Either way, he was a French doctor that wanted to invent a more humane and efficient way of executing people. You know, compared to the more brutal ways of executing people at that time. Soon after the guillotine's invention in 1792, the French Revolution broke out. The event that would make the guillotine infamous. However, prior to the revolution, the guillotine had some flaws. It was a dull crescent blade that would crush the neck rather than cut it. It was also believed that the victims would die instantly. Because spoilers, they didn't die instantly. Studies showed that the victim could have been alive for up to four seconds after being executing. The guillotine was then improved right before the revolution by, ha by having a sharper blade and its more iconic angled edge. These new updates to the machine were tested during the French Revolution. The results of this method of execution was a body count of 17,000 officially executed people during the revolution. After this reign of terror, the guillotine was rarely used, up until its final public execution in France, June 1939. Alright, fun fact, miniature guillotines were once sold as toys and were used to cut off dolls' heads and other various objects. In conclusion, the guillotine was brutally used in many forms of violent execution throughout history when all its inventor wanted was a quick end for the condemned.